caffeine consumption, it says that I'm likely to consume more, which is very true. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting day because I've been working with 23andMe. I spat into a tube, put it into a plastic bag, put it into a box and sent it off to the 23andMe lab where they did some genetic testing to help me understand more about my DNA, but we will find out that a little bit later, so make sure you keep watching. So it comes in this cute little box, then you open it, there's gonna be a little number on a barcode where you register online at 23andMe.com. And when you open the box, there's a little tube that you just have to spit into the fill line, close it, it oh, fills it up with other stuff, wow. And now we're screwing on the cap officially sealed into the bag now. So now that this is all packaged together nicely in here, I'm gonna send it off. In a few weeks time, I'm gonna get my results. But with the beauty of YouTube, we'll have the results in this video. So based on the 23 chromosomes, 23 me, that's where it comes from, I'm about to find out my DNA results. Hopefully I'll understand more about myself and hopefully it can help me connect with some of long lost family and relatives and find out where I come from thousands and thousands of years ago. So here goes nothing. Viewing my reports for the first time. I really don't know what to expect. It's all good fun, right? Ancestry composition. Apparently I am 67.1% British and Irish. Well, that's exciting. 11.4% <laughs> French and German, 0.4% Scandinavian. So basically I'm very, European. Well, I thought that might have been the case anyway. Lactose intolerance, likely tolerant. I am tolerant. I can, yeah, so fine. I need that, that's all good. Late onset Alzheimer's disease, variant not detected. Parkinson's disease, variants not detected. Well, that's also nice. Maternal haplogroup, I don't even know what that is. Let me see, you descend from a long line of women that can be traced back to Eastern Africa over 150,000 years ago. These are the women of your maternal line and your maternal haplogroup sheds light on their story. Wow, what does that even mean? So generations ago, so like 34,000 years ago, it all started in Yemen. Well, 65,000 years ago, I was in Africa and then slowly they all moved up and then into Europe. Caffeine consumption. It says that I'm likely to consume more, which is very true. I do like me some coffee. It says what I can do. If you consume caffeine, current guidelines recommend that healthy adults drink no more than about three 12 ounces, 12 ounce cups of coffee or eight ounce cups of tea per day. And since caffeine hangs around in your system for several hours, consider avoiding caffeine starting mid-afternoon or earlier if you want a good night's sleep. Deep sleep. I'm less likely to be a deep sleeper. Now this is one that I've been looking forward to finding out. Muscle composition. Thomas, your genetic muscle composition is common in elite power athletes. It says studies have found that almost all elite power athletes, including sprinters, throwers, and jumpers, have a specific genetic variant in a gene related to a muscle composition. You have the same genetic variant as these elite athletes. Asparagus odor detection in my urine likely can smell. So I have smelly wee when I have asparagus. Oh God, bald spot. Don't want to know this, I don't want to know. Unlikely to have a bald spot. Um, have, I am buzzing with that. I was, you have no idea how nervous I've been to find out that one piece of information. I'm really, I'm really quite chuffed about that. Earlobe type. I didn't know there's different types of earlobe. It says likely detached earlobes. What does that mean? Oh, so it means I've got a bit of a dangly bit here. Cause there's like a picture on here that shows that people either have earlobes that are like not attached like mine or some that are like full on stuck to your ear. Oh my goodness. This is quite freaky, this stuff. I'll tell you that. Early hair loss. Don't blame your mum. An old myth advises looking at the hairline of your mum's dad to predict the fate of your own. But many different genetic variants from both parents can play a role in hair loss. Thomas, the combination of your genetics and other factors make you unlikely to experience hair loss or any thinning before the age of 40. I'm happy with that. Earwax type. Likely to have wet earwax. That's disgusting. Why, what? Well, at least I know that. I mean, I'm always in the water anyway, so I just thought my ears were wet all the time. Maybe I've just got wet earwax in my ears all the time. Eye colour, likely brown or hazel eyes. And I, yeah, I mean they're brown. Hair texture, likely straight or wavy. I guess it's kind of wavy, but it, and yeah, straight or wavy, that, that works. Light or dark hair. Wait, what? Since I'm more likely to have lighter hair. 
of all hair colours, I don't think this is very light. Given it does go light, or a lot lighter in the summer, I wouldn't say it was light. Toe length ratio, likely bigger toe longer. It is. My big toe is longer than the next one to it. Excuse my awful feet, but big toe is longer than my little toe. Sweet versus salty. It says likely prefers salty. I mean, I do have a sweet tooth, but I do often like me some, you know, likely at least a little monobrow. I think I do have a little bit of a monobrow, but I do try and pluck it so that it doesn't have a monobrow, but apparently I'm genetically meant to have one. Widow's peak. Oh no. This was what Lance was warning me about, the widow's peak of when you recede here. Pointed hairlines originally earned the name widow's peak because they resembled the shape of a hat Victorian women wore in mourning. Thomas, the combination of your genetics and other factors make you unlikely to have a window's peak. I'm so happy with that. Well, that was fun. That helped me understand a lot more about my DNA, where I came from. I mean, my taste preferences. I'm not going to go bald, so that's all good. But if you want to find out a little bit more about your DNA and help you understand your DNA and your genetics, then all you have to do is go to 23andMe.com forward slash Tom Daly to get your own kit. It's definitely a load of fun and I definitely highly recommend it. And if you want more videos on my channel, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and if you have any questions about my genetics, put them down in the comments below and maybe I'll answer a few more of your questions. But for now, I'll see you later.